So a typical day is you wake up around 6.30 or 6.45, and you have breakfast, then you go from there to the training room to get ready, and then you have practice from 8 to noon, so four hours. So some of you thought that two and a half hour practice was long or three hours, that's nothing. <laughs> We've been four or five or six hours long. Um, and then you have a couple hours off, you have lunch. And then you go back to the trainer's room, get ready for the next practice. And then you practice for two or three hours in the afternoon. And then you go to weights right after that. My son, that's my son over there. At that age right there, that's when I started. With my parents inside of the gym, playing against the wall. And your dad is the only thing player. I did. I played against the wall all by myself. Set. Maybe three times, four times a week. Because they also played volleyball. And I couldn't play with anybody, so I played against the wall. <laughs> so from that age, a no. couple million, I'd say, <laughs> probably for each one. <laughs> yeah. But if you if you started late, it's okay. I started fairly late because I was always playing basketball and trying to do other things. So no matter when you when you doesn't matter when you start. It matters what you do when you get in the gym. So if you started late and you feel kind of behind, don't lose hope because it doesn't matter when you start. It matters what you do when you get on the court. See, she's starting. See, now. she's right. <laughs> She's inspired. Get the stairs. She feels it. Get the stairs. <laughs> All right, we're going to take one more question as a group and then we can answer some um, individually. Up there. It was, what was awful. It was like being in the Olympics. <laughs> I'm joking. It was like the exact opposite of awful. It was probably one of the best moments of my life. Not because of being at a high level, but being able to bounce back from a lot of setbacks, being able to do something when other people think you can't do it being able to set high goals for yourself and being able to achieve those goals and just being able to look back and know that you worked hard for what you've achieved. So that's the best part about it, because knowing that you got there because of hard work, not because of luck, not because of because you worked hard for it, and just being able to be around great coaches and having the chance to learn a lot and just being around great people. So just being able to realize how fortunate um, I am as an athlete to have had all the opportunities and just being able to believe in myself and work hard.